eternal life. And in this book is promises. Hallelujah. 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 I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. How many times have we ever reflected closely on what God is saying? Amen. I won't leave you and I won't forsake you. Amen. Forsake means to leave someone. Yes. Yes. If you forsake somebody, you don't left them. Amen. God said, I will never leave you. It makes no difference what you're going through. Amen. If God be oh. for you, who can be against you? If God is your all in all, how in the world can you have an unhappy state of mind or an unhappy continence when no matter what comes against you, on the job, in the home, wherever? Hallelujah. But you have to understand and make yourself realize I'm happy. And I'm not going to let nothing make me unhappy. This is deep if you can catch hold of it. Jesus said the words I speak, they're what? Spiritual. But they become alive but you have to receive it through a spiritual understanding and then let that develop into an actuality in your life so the words I speak their spirit and their life once we understand that God has told us not to be unhappy not to be fearful not to be doubting hallelujah when you want you a healing in your body you got to first receive it mentally spiritually then it is transcended to the physical actuality of yourself. You can actually make your faith so strong in the belief of God being your all in all that nothing can come against you to cause you to ever, amen, to really let sickness overcome you unless it be in the perfect will of the Lord. And I don't think it's in God's perfect will for us to be sick all the time. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, maybe. But all the time, no. How did God raise you and separate you from the world if God wanted you to be miserable and unhappy and sick all the time? That don't make no sense. Now, the peace God gives, again, is a spiritual peace that is developed into a physical action. Hear me? So I don't need drugs, yes. alcohol, yes. to make me comfortable, uh -huh. to give me a contented state of mind. I don't need that because that's artificial. That's an artificial stimulant. I got to take it in order for it to have an action on my life. Once I take it sooner or later, if it's physical, it's got to wear off. But if you keep the Holy Ghost with you everywhere you go, you don't never have to be unhappy in no time. Hallelujah. My goodness, you can go before the judge and start getting happy. I'm getting ready to give you some time, but I'm going to get happy. Why? Because you can't give me no more time than what God says. And if God said, don't give me no time, judge, you can't open your mouth and give me no time. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking about something that's spiritual. If you can't catch hold to a spiritual, you'll never be able to apply it in the reality of your life. But God did miracles because somebody believed. Where am I at? Read. And Shaphan the scribe showed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest have delivered me a book, and Shaphan read it before the king. Hilkiah found a book, and he read it before King Josiah. Uh-huh. And it came to pass when the king had heard the words of the book of the law yes. that he rent his clothes. You see, Josiah didn't know God's instruction. Amen. Now there's a difference in not knowing and knowing Amen. and disobey. Amen. See, when the word comes, the Bible says, hard not your heart. Yes. You've got to make a stand when you hear the word of truth to receive it with gladness. Yes, I said receive it with gladness. You don't receive it with no anger and bitterness. Yeah. Hallelujah. You've got to make up your mind that you're going to hear the word of truth and hold on to it with happiness in your heart. Yes. Praise God. Anytime you have to go to a church where the leader teaches you you're not responsible for your action, you need to get away from that church. They got a new prosperity preacher on. I've seen him a couple times now last week. He got a special revival going. It's a thousand dollar blessing. 
revival. You got to send a thousand dollars because this is a thousand dollar blessing. This ain't like your regular seed sowing. This is your thousand dollar seed sowing. So you know if you're planting more corn, you got to receive a bigger reward. And he just wore that thing out. And I looked at that devil. I looked at him. And I want to say to those of you, but we have you too. You are a foolish, foolish people. And I mean, the, the, he had about ten folds going. And they was jumping off the hook. He said, if it's busy, call back. Don't call if you ain't got your thousand uh, dollar offering. He ain't say no pledge. Offering. Thousand dollar offering. Have your checkbook ready. Have your visa card in your hand. And the phone line was just jumping off the hook. I said, look at that devil. Hallelujah. People are so stupid to think that they can buy a blessing from God. Where is your mentality? You stupid, stupid people who will dare support a con man who's taking your money so he can live rich and affluent. You are a stupid, stupid people. I'm going to be a little bit strict on you than uh, Paul. Paul said you're naive. I'm saying you're stupid. So, hallelujah. You can't buy a state of mind. State of mind comes from a receptive attitude. When I hear the choir sing, I get happy. When I come into church, I start getting happy. When I hear the testimony, I get happy. I don't need nobody next to me clapping to make me clap. Hallelujah. I don't need nobody next to me to make me happy. I'm happy because I'm in God's house. I'm in the presence of the Holy God. Hallelujah. Praise God. When I leave church, I'll take some God with me. I take happiness with me. I take peace with me. Josiah was upset because he never knew about the instruction of the law. That's right. That's right. Yes, Read. Sir. And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest and Ahikam the son of Shaphan and Akbor the son of Micaiah and Shaphan the scribe and Asahiah a servant of the king saying, Go ye, inquire of the Lord for me and for the people Wait and a minute. for all Judah. Go and inquire of me. Of the Lord. Not only for me, for the people that are going to serve. Hallelujah. And I believe the Bible says he went to the prophetess, Huldah, and inquired. Now there must not have been a prophet because he went to the prophetess. Well, I thought women was not supposed to usurp authority. I said when God get ready to use somebody, God, he used the donkey and saved the man's life. Praise God. Right. Who was it? He was beating the donkey and kept beating him. And the donkey kept turning. And the donkey finally spoke to him. Why do you keep hitting me? I'm trying to save your life. Don't you see the death angel right there? And I turned away from him. Hallelujah. I'm trying to let you know when God want to use somebody, God can use anybody to speak to somebody who's receptive of heart, who wants to know the truth, or what thus saith the Lord. But if your mind is hard-hearted and you got a stubborn confidence, you ain't never going to have no peace of mind. First of all, because you ain't never going to be saved. But if you make up your mind, hallelujah, you're not going to let the devil block you, hallelujah, stop you, anyway, impede you from receiving what God wants for you, and God wants blessing done told for you, and God will bless you in this life and the life to come. If you hold on and receive what God has for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Josiah got upset when the word came because he didn't know, how come didn't nobody tell me this before? I believe he was almost 30. And he started reigning when he was 8 or 9 years old. But any time you're seeking after righteousness, you're sure to find it. Right. Any time you're looking for God, hallelujah, if you're looking for God in your heart, you'll find God. He'll send you to the right place. Or you may not agree with it all the time. But one thing's for sure, you can't debate it. You can't contradict it. Why? Because in the scripture, that's why we teach from the Bible. Sunday school from the Bible. Bible class from the Bible. Remarks from the word of God. Sermon from the Bible. Hallelujah. You can't cross-reference me. You're not smart enough. Praise God. Today, I've said in times past, we're in a culture 
that has totally 